Good evening everyone, Jonathan Davis here with Davis Auto Sports and here we have an absolutely gorgeous 1997 Toyota Land Cruiser. Do want to let you guys know this is a green exterior. It's a very, very dark green, sort of a charcoal gray fender and rocker. This is the Land Cruiser that we put up a video a few weeks ago about the different levels of restoration that we offered uh, for this particular truck. We decided uh, with the overwhelming amount of emails that we got on a basic sort of refreshing and servicing that's the route that we went with so as the truck itself goes 97 Land Cruiser one owner Carfax certified guarantee vehicle flawless history over 40 service records on the Carfax report impeccable service history that's one of the reasons we uh, sort, of, sort of were leaning towards just refreshing uh, the truck up and selling it as a really really nice Land Cruiser without spending a bunch of time doing a complete restoration it was almost too, not too nice for that also in those videos I may include them in the link or attach them to this video you guys know that we removed the seats we redid a lot of the seats we steam cleaned the carpet uh, we did a full paint correction service on this truck as well if you're not familiar with that very very tedious process the end result as you see is gorgeous paint about a four or five day uh, procedure I'll include some video or some uh, pictures in this video just to sort of give you a screenshot of what that looks like that is not to say that this truck is without flaws this truck has a lot of small chips and perfections uh, this is a completely driver quality truck guys it's got 200,000 miles yes it's in beautiful condition yes it will have uh, small scratches imperfections uh, really no dents or dings or anything like that there's no damage anywhere on the truck but definitely some small imperfections just want to make that very very clear uh, you know very very minor things here and there that can easily be touched up but overall beautiful beautiful condition also before we get into too much cosmetic stuff this truck was very well serviced. We brought it into the shop and did a lot of additional services. I'm probably gonna miss some of the larger thing or some of the smaller things, but the larger services and parts that we did, brand new shocks on all four corners. Um, brand new pads, brand new rotors, uh, wheel bearings, uh, repack the axles, uh, wheel seals, or excuse me, axle seals, uh, windshield wipers um, and a bunch of other small little seals and gaskets were done on this so um, this thing is absolutely turnkey I just drove this thing about 20-30 minutes it drives like a dream no issues whatsoever uh, it's gonna really make somebody a really really nice Land Cruiser that is equally beautiful and as you see the gloss and glare on this paint look at that metallic in the paint just beautiful beautiful paint on it Now, if there's any imperfections on this Land Cruiser and you want us to repair them, we'll be more than happy to do so. Our decision into making this thing mechanically very sound and spending a few days on reconditioning the exterior and an additional few days is to bring it to life, make it really nice, but not perfect. So there will be some imperfections on this. This is not a complete restoration by any uh, measure and I don't want you guys to think that and I know a lot of times I reiterate myself but there's people that have selective hearing and they either don't hear something if we mention it one time so uh, we just try to really cover ourselves that is an original Toyota windshield a uh, beautiful condition brand new wiper blades the arms were removed and repainted as well and I'll go over at the end of this video some things that I would uh, suggest doing if you really want to make this thing uh, the next level up, if you will, as far as condition without really uh, going overboard. But as you guys see, I mean, it's compared to 99% of the Land Cruisers out there that are not restored, this will be probably one of the nicest ones. I mean, just beautiful condition. If you guys follow us, you guys know we don't sell normal condition trucks here also want to make very very clear 
the Michelin tires, Michelin, they're notorious for this. I'm going to show you all four tires just so we can be on the same page. Tread, plenty good. Typical, very fine little dry rotting. We'll pass inspection, no problem. A ton of tread. Michelin, they're notorious for that. Three of the tires have it, one doesn't because one tire is brand new. Wheels, very clean. Typical little corroding here and there, nothing major. We can refinish the wheels. We can put new tires on. We can put a lift on. We can paint whatever you want to paint. So this is the pretty much like new Michelin tire. Side steps are perfect. Rocker panels are perfect. The roof is super clean as well. This thing has a very, very impressive car factor. I would say the most, uh, I know I'm all over the place, so I don't want to miss this. That is the most damage, and it's not body damage, it's just some scratches. But this is an easy repaint. Um, and the reason we didn't want to do it is it just adds cost. For the person that may want to keep this at a beach and may get banged up, may get dirty, they may not care about that. So we don't want to add uh, unnecessary cost to this. But that's something I would definitely want to repaint if it was mine. This one is, see, same thing there. Repaint that, in my opinion. Not needed, but. And for the exterior, we're going to touch that up. We wanted to order the, the color match paint, so that's going to be touched up. But once again, we can repaint it, but we're just going to touch it up. So as you see, I mean, super, super impressive. Uh, as far as a scale of 1 to 10, considering the year and the miles, I would honestly rate this thing a strong 8.5. Some people may give it a 7. Some people may give it a 9.5. That's uh, up to the, the greater if you will but the roof super super clean interior we have a, a couple videos of the interior as well so I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on it uh, the carpets got completely steam clean the seats got pulled out seats got reworked a lot of them does have obviously a third row it's in perfect condition When we uh, removed the seats, we had uh, all the carpet to ourselves to completely get every nook and cranny. The carpets came out beautiful. Non-smoker. Cigarette lighters never been used. There's zero odors, zero burns. Uh, even in these pillars, no smoker. Those right there are just from the seat belts from it being folded down. That's not damaged. So there you guys have it. Beautiful 97 Land Cruiser, one owner, over 40 service records on the Carfax report. Beautiful condition. I would classify this as a refreshing, if you will. Uh, once again, service-wise, it's been fully serviced previously by the original and only owner. And we just did all four shocks, uh, calipers, pads. The rotors were in really good condition. Let me just double check because a lot of times, yep, rotors as well. Uh, wheel bearings, uh, redid the seals on the axles and repacked the axles. Uh, windshield wipers all the way around two fronts one rear we also redid um, we ordered them the gears inside both power seats uh, those were stripped out very common with these uh, so we ordered those it's about three four hours labor for each seat to do so uh, since essentially uh, they will have all new gears in them so the seats will be fine for years down the road so as you guys see all the important stuff done couple little cosmetic blemishes but overall I mean from 10 feet away I mean it looks absolutely beautiful and it is
If you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me directly, jd at davisautosports.com, jd at davisautosports.com. Thank you. All right, guys, so here we are inside the uh, Land Cruiser. We're going to go through some of the 12-volt accessories, the electronics, the inside. We'll do a drivability portion. Uh, go ahead and start off here with the power windows. Sunroof also operates perfectly. That's not a crack, that's just something on top. As you see, headliner is very, very clean. Driver side mirror. Also wanna let you guys know the AC is absolutely ice cold, very hot day here in Richmond and um, talking about the AC off, low, medium, all function as they should. Power antenna, it is now down. No issues whatsoever. Radio controls function perfectly. If, if that makes sense. It, it, this seems to be. I don't want to change the radio station because if we pick up an FM station that has music, YouTube will copyright uh, the video and will kick all the audio off of the video. But as you see, all the digital screens work perfect. There's no dead pixels anywhere whatsoever. Uh, hazards work as they should. All the lights work as they should. Um, all the power, as you see, everything inside of this truck works absolutely perfect. Uh, cigarette lighter has never been used. And the AC, like I said, is absolutely ice cold. I have a completely brand new rewrapped uh, top for the center console. Dash is all very, very clean. Seats, which I touched on earlier, a lot have been refinished. Now we'll go ahead and drive this. I know in the uh, first portion of this video, I mentioned a lot of the servicing that we did to this. I'll go through it a quick, uh, again, real quick. All brand new shocks. All four shocks are all brand new. We have a brand new muffler. Uh, we have brand new calipers, brand new pads. We have brand new wheel bearings. We have axle seals. The axles have been repacked as well with grease. We have all brand new windshield wipers. Also want to let you guys know, so these seats during this test drive, you'll see they will slide back and forth. Uh, we have ordered the gears for both sliding uh, seats. If you're unfamiliar with the way these uh, power seats work, they have little gears and they, they intertwine with one another and they're plastic gears. And over the years they wear out and the power seats don't slide back and forth well we ordered all new gears so the front two seats which are the only power seats uh, will have complete new gear sets in them installed a little tedious job the front driver's seat needed it the passenger seat didn't necessarily need it but they were original and they would just go out on whoever buys it a year or two down the road and normal shop would have charged you an arm and a leg to do it so if we're gonna do one side we're gonna do both sides truck drives absolutely beautiful before we got this in it's been extremely well serviced since day one of ownership um, nearly close to 50 service records on the Carfax report the service we just did would easily run you at a Toyota dealership, probably $2,000 plus. As you see the paint, beautiful reflection. I mean, I'll drive this whole time with one hand on the wheel.
pretty cool. I just noticed that that is an original windshield and it is in great condition. This right here is a infrared digital uh, thermostat. It's not reading the air, it's reading the plastic that the laser is hitting. AC is blowing very, very cold. The air coming out is much cooler than 50 degrees. The front of that vent is what's reading at 47 degrees. It's going to change depending on where that laser is, so even if it moves just a little bit, it's going to give you a different temperature. So if that vent's at 43, and we got in this hot truck, and the vent was at probably 100 from sitting in here, the air is blowing very, very cold. All right, guys, we keep having some audio difficulties, so um, right here we're just doing a hard acceleration just to show you that everything functions as it should, engine, transmission, very very smooth driving land cruiser no issues drivability whatsoever land cruiser with the uh, new shocks and everything we did up front with the steering tracks very very straight steering wheel doesn't have any play in it which is uh, a common issue with these land cruisers they usually have a lot of play up front this road right here has as you see a lot of patchwork on the road it's a very rough road um, as you see, one finger on the wheel, no knees on the bottom of the steering wheel, just went over some railroad tracks right there and just absolutely effortless driving. 